Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to use the order of operations to break down this scary looking fraction. So how do we deal with a fraction like this or complex looking fractions? Um, well, in the middle of the fraction, we have the division sign right here. It's separating the numerator, right, the top part of the fraction, I'll put n for numerator, with the denominator, the bottom part of the fraction. And what's implied is that the entire um, set of terms in the numerator is really in parentheses. And the same is true for the denominator. And the reason I say that is because it helps me remember that what I have to do is combine all the numbers I can in the numerator, combine all the numbers in the denominator, and then reduce. So in the numerator, we have 5 squared. That means 5 times 5, 25. 4 squared is 16, 4 times 4 is 16, and 3 to the first is just 3. Put my signs in. In the denominator, we have 1 minus 5. Well, I know 5 minus 1 is 4, and if we change the order from 5 minus 1 to 1 minus 5, we change the sign. So now I keep computing, right? I know there are not parentheses written here, but I know that I have to deal with this numerator uh, before I divide in the denominator, uh, divide with the denominator. So there are ways around this, by the way, but this is the technique we're going to use here. So 25 minus 16, those are 9 apart, plus 3 is 12. I simplify the numerator, and we're dividing by negative 4. And here I just think, well, I know 12 divided by 4 is 3, so 12 divided by negative 4 is the opposite. It's negative 3. All right, I hope this helps.